peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. We're out here in nature. Eight reasons vegans are crazy. I loved my meat back then. And in 2006, I made the single most important decision I've ever made in my life. And that was to move to a plant-based diet. I became a vegan. I don't like labels, but that is what society calls me. And that is the most important aspect of my life, which has helped me to become the greatest version of myself. It's not easy. A lot of us out there, we have peer pressure. We are telling ourselves, let's just stay in our comfort zone. But once you do your own research, you can see for yourself that we are what we eat. Or as Sheru would say, you are not only what you eat, you are what you feed all your senses. There are people on YouTube who have also inspired my journey into more healthy food. Freely the Banana Girl, fantastic. Lennon and Aida Honor, amazing. And it was great to see Lennon in California. But Lennon, you ate all of those chocolate brownies. <laughs> and Fully Raw, Christina, amazing. Jury and Ryder, fantastic. Nubia Eye, incredible. Dan the Man, and of course, the Infinite Waters chef, Sheru. So it's just amazing that we can get inspiration from anywhere and everywhere. Growing up, I was told that you need protein. Some people ask us, where do we get our protein from? That's how it was for me. And where do you get your protein? <laughs> I would tell them hemp seeds, which contain all the 21 amino acids and the nine essential amino acids. And the amino acids are the building blocks for protein. I remember when I was telling my mom and when I was actually in the process of being a vegan in 2006, and I was losing a lot of weight my skin was getting better though, thank you. <laughs> and it was a big conversation, but I said, this is what I wanna do. And I told her, don't worry about the protein, I've got that covered. Chia seeds, hemp seeds. And my cousin came into the house and he said he's going to McDonald's and Oh, that's wonderful. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> but what about me? It was hard back then. But deep down, I knew I was doing the right thing. Thank goodness for that. Okay, eight reasons why vegans are crazy. Number one. They have all the energy in the world. So you might find them dancing in the streets at 4 a.m. in the morning or two o'clock in the afternoon for no reason, except that life is just so brilliant. Number two, they go to the toilet after every meal. That is crazy. Number three, they know the name of every appliance in your kitchen, but they are looking for the blender. That is crazy. Number four, they dream of plants, of kale, of seeds and nuts, and they dream of making the most delicious smoothie in the world. Yes, that is crazy. Number five, instead of killing animals, they would rather throw a party for them. 
because let's face it, they are pretty darn awesome. And animals love to dance. They can get their groove on. <laughs> That's crazy. Number six, the invitation. You invite them around for dinner. Do you want to come around mine? Thank you. Always polite. Always polite. So you're at their house. They ask you, what do you want to eat? And they say, what have you got? What's in your fridge? <laughs> and you tell them, uh, meat, cheese, got some eggs, some omelet for you. They look at you, a moment of silence. I'll pass. And then you remind them you haven't eaten in three days. And they remember, and they still say, I'll pass, but thank you. Always polite. That's crazy. <laughs> Number seven, instead of going to that doctor appointment, they are busy, very busy, planning their next holiday. Costa Rica. Mmm, farmer's market. <laughs> that is crazy. And lastly, number eight. Their favorite trip. What really puts a smile on their face? What makes them scream out loud? Is that one trip to Whole Foods. That is all they desire. You ask, why? Don't ask why. <laughs> that is crazy. And a bonus one, they will spend hundreds of pounds or dollars on fruits and seeds. To you, that is crazy. That is just not acceptable. <laughs> but they do it. Always speak your truth. I love Gary Yurofsky's The Greatest Speech You Will Ever Hear on YouTube, a fantastic animal activist who really sends home that vegan message. Forks Over Knives, a powerful documentary. Earthlings. All of this has been a monumental catalyst in helping me become the greatest version of myself. My mom is a meat eater and she is the most generous person I know. So being a vegan doesn't mean that you are better than someone that eats meat. Because spirituality is not something that you practice, it is who you are. However, what you eat plays a crucial critical role in helping you become the greatest version of yourself. So the more we start questioning our reality, we start to see that every single life form on this planet is precious and deserves to be treated with respect. We don't need to kill animals. We don't need to eat animals. We just need to love them. And some people say plants, they are alive. And yes, that is true. But at the same time, there is a wide variety of plants. Certain plants do eat other plants. But at the same time, certain plants were created for our consumption. So we have to see and really follow our heart. Do what makes sense for you and remember to have fun because this is it. We have to live and spin around. <laughs> what is the difference between eating a cat or a dog compared to eating a cow or a pig? 
There is none. But we tell ourselves there is due to social conditioning because we have been disconnected from other life forms. But once you go to a slaughterhouse, your eyes begin to open. But more so, do your own research and do what you feel in your heart. Pigs are smarter than dogs. According to some scientists, pigs are more intelligent than dogs. But it doesn't mean that pigs are better than dogs. So what makes us think that dogs are better than cows? Or that cows are better than chickens? What? All life form is precious. We have to stand in our truth and stand up for what we believe is right. So that's it. I always encourage people to eat whatever you love. And my mom eats meat and I still love her. So there shouldn't be division, there should be unity, but at the same time, I love animals and I see that I have a voice. So anything I can do, I'm going to do to help inspire people to see that there are other ways. So there you have it. Remember that you are what you eat and have fun because that's the main thing. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is who had the most fun. We are out here, in nature, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace.